Alrighty, here we've got Slap of the Rocks <laughs> being played on Nintendo Switch. This game's courtesy of uh, East Asia Soft. So we've got play, level select, and mute. We're going to go ahead and do play. Alright, so this is a, uh, is a puzzle game. Um, this reminds me of the the puzzle game in uh, Legend of Zelda uh, uh, Link to the Past, I believe it was. Very similar. So you've got... Well, kind of. <laughs> you have uh, bushes here that you can hit with your sword. And then you have rocks that you need to push in order to fill in holes. And then you use the rocks which fill the holes to get the chest. Get the chest and we go to the next level. Um, I like the graphics. Graphics are really nice. Um, I like the uh, I like just how simple the game is. Um, there's no enemies in the game. It's all puzzle based. I like the music. Graphics are nice too. Just up here. There we go. So you have the signs here that <coughs> give you uh, kind of clues um, all the way. Then you've got the the signs there to reset the uh, level. Now, what's cool about the reset is it resets the section that you're in. I mean, it is a reset the level, but it doesn't reset your character's placement. So for instance, if, let's say that I screwed up like I did, well actually I didn't quite yet, but let's say I screwed up there, right? Let's say I wanted to reset this. If I come up here and I reset, it resets me at that side and not it resets the entire level. I mean, yes, the entire level is reset, but your character, uh, where they're standing does not, which is really, really cool. I really like that. Uh, uh, I like other games where you hit reset on puzzles, so you reset the entire level, and reset your character position. It doesn't do that. That's really cool. Definitely a uh, huge plus in my book. So here we're at level four, and as you can see, the levels will get longer, and they will get a little bit more difficult as the game progresses. And that's what you want in a puzzle game. I like how the, the game uses <coughs> the uh, each each screen area. I like the fact that you can push the rocks off screen and they'll still do what they need to do as long as you set them up correctly before you get to that point. So, like right here, you'd want to do that first and hit this rock here. Oh, yeah, okay. And then, yep, do this. And then, do that. There we go. This sign says rocks can be used to create paths for other rocks. Yes. Yes, that is very true. So you can... I don't think how I want to approach this. But you have to do it this way. And there we are. Through five levels of the game so far. 
one hit, uh, one hit, uh, one at a time, bottom, middle, and up. I can read that. Wow, it's it's bad. Okay, so it says bottom, middle, and up. So bottom. Middle and then up. There we go. Sometimes the signs, like like I said, like like I was saying earlier, sometimes they'll actually give you how to solve it. Other times, those give you hints. Either way, it's handy. Some of these puzzles do look harder than they really need to be. <laughs> and that's okay. I don't even really need this one, but it's okay. Do it anyway. This one says, hit to reset level. Watch out for the decoy. This one I end up screwing up a couple of times. They keep going for the first rock. I'm like, oh, it doesn't work. Level nine. But some of them might be like level nine here and aren't aren't as difficult as say the previous one may have may have been, which is fine. And I totally missed that up when I redo that. Not what it seems. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here. Hit that one that way. Which I didn't do before I hit the bush instead. And then we want to... that one up. Push the bush rock over. <laughs> push it up. And push it over. Yeah, that's 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 very true. This part is actually pretty easy. to make sure I can uh oh oh wait, there's a hole in my oh there go now there's something in front of it but there's not it's just a hole I 
Now, this actually kind of threw me for a loop because you've got you have this chest right here, right? But then you've also got this one over here. So I'm guessing you can go for either one of them. Because then there you go. So here, here's the next area with the next set of um, of uh, puzzles here. But hey, yeah, that was ten. Uh, there's 10 puzzles uh, for Slap the Rocks. I want to thank Easy Shots Up for the opportunity to escape. It's a lot of fun. I uh, definitely one I would encourage you to check out if you like puzzle games. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.